Hey there, I'm Eliza with Ancestral Evolution, and today we are playing fermentation games. So I'm gonna see if we can make sour cream out of kefir and heavy cream. So if I'm being precise, when I say sour cream, I actually mean creme fraiche. Cream fraiche. So what is the difference between creme fraiche and sour cream? So sour cream is typically made with a combination of milk and cream, and it usually has a fat percentage around 15 to 20% whereas creme fraiche is usually around 30%. So why do we care? Because creme fraiche has a much higher percentage of milk fat, it doesn't break apart when it's heated. So that means that you can use this in sauces or soups or anything that's heated, whereas sour cream is gonna break apart when you heat it. The other reason you might care is that creme fraiche is much lower in lactose and also in protein. So if you are following something like a ketogenic diet, creme fraiche is gonna be a little bit more keto friendly in that sense. It's gonna be a higher fat, lower carb, lower protein than your typical sour cream is gonna be. So I've made creme fraiche before using heavy cream and buttermilk, but today I'm gonna see if I can make it with kefir. I've never done this before, so we're gonna see if this works. I love creme fraiche and sour cream, but I don't keep buttermilk on hand very often. So I'm gonna see if I can make it with kefir instead. We almost always have kefir going in our kitchen. We get about a gallon of raw milk a week. So I'm making kefir, I feel like I'm making kefir constantly. <laughs> so we've got plenty of that. Kefir has a combination of bacteria and yeast in it, whereas buttermilk is more just bacteria. So we'll see if this works and if the texture of the creme fraiche is gonna be different than your typical creme fraiche or sour cream. So I've got a one pint jar here, just two cups, and I've got some homemade raw milk kefir. This stuff is amazing, by the way. If you have not tried kefir, you should. So I'm just gonna put like maybe a fourth of a cup in here. We'll see how that does. And then I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way up with heavy whipping cream. Like I said, the last time I did this, I did this with buttermilk. It works really nicely with buttermilk. And I just used a tablespoon or two. All right, I'm gonna mix this up. All right, I'm just gonna let it sit on my counter at room temperature for theoretically 18 to 24 hours. It should be congealed. Let's see, it's just a little bit after four o'clock now. So we will check back, see when this has thickened up. Fingers crossed. All right, so we're about at 22 hours. Yeah, we're about 22 hours into our fermentation now. I checked it this morning at about eight, at about 16 hours, and it was still pretty runny. So we're gonna take a look and see if it's congealed now the way I want it to be. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. Also check out our classes on Skillshare. We've got a great class on fermented dairy if you're interested. Moment of truth, here we go. All right. Looks pretty good. It looks like it's pretty well solidified here. Let's take a look. Yeah, so it's it's pretty congealed. This is like pretty much straight up. Cream cheese, creme fraiche. All right, let's take a taste and see see how this tastes. It's good. It tastes a little bit like creme fraiche and kefir had a baby. Kefir fraiche. This has like a little bit of a tang. It's not quite as sour as sour cream is, but it definitely has a little bit of a tang and a little bit of that just undertone of the yeast that you get in kefir. It's like creme fraiche with a hint of kefir, which I think is really good. So yeah, this would be great on as a topping on something or as like part of a sauce or something to make something creamy. Definitely high fat content, so you've got that going for you. Yeah, super easy to make. I'll definitely be making this again. All right, I think that's all for now. Give this a try, see what you think, and also tell me what you think it should be called. Should it be called kefir friche or kefir cream or something else? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, until next time.